Welcome to this lecture on installing iBooks on your Mac and on your iPad. iBooks is the application that you use to open and view the projects that you're creating in iBooks Author. And it actually comes pre-installed on both iOS and on OS X. So if you have OS X Mavericks installed, which is again the minimum version that you need to install iBooks Author, you already have iBooks installed on your Mac. And you can access it in your dock. It is the orange circle with the book icon. So we'll go ahead and launch it. So when you launch iBooks, you have the option of signing in with your Apple ID. If you sign in with your Apple ID, iBooks will retrieve your purchase history from iCloud and it'll do things like uh, allow you to access books that you've purchased on other devices. It'll also sync things like bookmarks, uh, highlights, notes, your progress in uh, the books that you're currently reading. But this is an optional step. You don't actually have to do that. I'll go ahead and say not now. And because I don't have any books on my shelf, it's actually prompting me to go to the iBookstore. I can click on iBookstore, and this will bring up the featured books that Apple is uh, featuring this week. And you can also use the search field here to search for a particular title. You can also click on top charts to see what type of books are popular in the bookstore, and then browse books either by categories or by authors. So fairly standard if you are familiar with the App Store, either on the Mac or on iOS, the interface is fairly similar. To get back to your bookshelf, you'll click on Library, and that'll take you back to your bookshelf. Now in my case, I don't have any books, so my bookshelf is empty. Now on the iPad side, iBooks is an application that comes installed with iOS 8. So if you have iOS 8 or greater installed on your iPad, then you already have iBooks on your device. If you have an older version of iOS installed on your iPad, you can download the iBooks application by going to the App Store. So again, that's the blue tile with an A on it. And what you will do is simply search for iBooks. Okay, so because I already have iBooks installed, I get this Explore iBooks tile. So I can go ahead and click on that. If I was using iOS 7 and I was searching for iBooks, I would actually see the option to download iBooks to my device. I've gone ahead and tapped on the Explore iBooks. It opens up the bookstore on my iPad. And again, it has a similar interface to the iBooks store on the Mac. You can see we've got a search pane along the top. We've got some featured books here. We can also browse my books. I can browse featured titles. I can browse top charts and so forth. Okay, so that is a quick guide to iBooks on both your Mac and your iPad. Again, if you have a recent Mac or you have a recent iPad, it's likely that you have the operating system that came with iBooks. So there's nothing that you need to do. But if you do have an older version of iOS than version 8, then you may need to search the App Store and install iBooks on your iPad. And that concludes our lecture on installing iBooks on your Mac and on your iPad.